Well, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning for me. Just getting loaded up. It's a bit chilly this morning. This alley really doesn't see sun for the whole winter. Big day today. Picking up the motor for the Jeep. All right, well, now the fun begins. It's been a few hours since I picked up the engine, talked with the guy, getting a lot of feedback from him. He builds LS engines, a lot of them for race applications and everything else is what they do is that they just buy LS engines in bulk, you know, from a wrecker or wherever else. And they strip them all down and, you know, figure out what parts are good, what parts aren't good. And that's how they go. So this is my engine right here. I went with the LR4, 4.8 liter. Uh, this is far from stock. We're gonna go over the build sheet in a minute, which means in my Jeep, this is going to be paired up with a 4L80 transmission, which is a little beefier than the uh, 4L60. But uh, pretty stoked about this. There's gonna be a lot of things I'm gonna have to learn about uh before we start putting this in the engine probably gonna have to go to the junkyard to see where a lot of things go so i can figure out you know what i need what i don't need everything else so here's the build sheet for the engine uh, i was actually built for somebody else but they backed out so it's a 4.8 lr4 ls motor set inspected refreshed tested Corvette updated camshaft, Corvette hydraulic lifters, Corvette upgraded oil pump, Corvette head gasket service, cylinder head bolts plus procedure, ultrasonic plus refresh cylinder heads, front and rear crankshaft seals, inspect replace service all seals, timing chain service replacement, timing case seals, and um, the accessories that came with it. And of course with the Jeep, uh, well, if one of the things you notice with the LS swaps is that the oil pan will sit down very low. So for an added cost, the company makes these and it's a shorter oil pan. As you guys can see right there, got a little bit of dent in it when I was hauling at home, unfortunately. But uh, I shouldn't have any clearance issues there. So I'm gonna to have to get an oil filter relocation kit for this engine. But I'm pretty stoked. Fuel system in the Jeep is about 40, 45 PSI. And the LS engine needs to see 50. So we're gonna to have to do a modification in the pump. There's a kit you can buy. This fuel rail has a regulator on it uh, with return circuit. So I think that kit will be cheaper. Um, a lot of things I gotta figure out what I need to do. Here's a block off plug in the back here. I don't know if I can uh, maybe put a different style vacuum piece in there to adapt um, for the brakes, for the brake booster. I need to get an evap delete here there's no egr um there's a little tube that crosses over and right there's a line i gotta figure out where that goes there's one here off the throttle body probably just a vacuum coming from the uh valve covers perhaps because that's what it was like on the jeep um one line here it's one line back there. So a lot of things I gotta figure out. Never had a LS engine before, so obviously if you have an LS engine, then you probably already know what all that stuff is, but this is getting my hands dirty for the first time. So I gotta figure out where all these vacuum lines are out and how I'm gonna plug it into mine because I gotta get the heater to work, I gotta get the brakes to work. We gotta start taking apart the harness, uh, figuring out what we're gonna end up needing. I think I saw the uh, water temperature was right here. So that's one. I might extend that out and build something um, 
to come out a little bit and run a couple sensors in there. I'll see how that's going to go first. And then the oil pressure is, uh, that's a good question. I think that's your low oil pressure switch right here. I might have to uh, investigate further. I haven't really looked at this engine too much yet to figure out where I'm gonna plumb stuff in for all my factory gauges to work. Of course, the kit came with stock manifolds, wiring harness and computer, MAF sensor in there. So got to start figuring all this shit out, start taking it apart. What I'm going to need, what I'm not going to need. Going to have to add a fuse box. Going to be all sorts of fun. Well, coming to think about it, since I'm doing the oil filter relocation, I can modify something to put the factory oil pressure sending unit in there. Ah, the temperature sensor. Yeah, I still may do what I'm thinking about doing. Ah, the power steering pump, I gotta figure that out too. If I need to change this style out so I could use the factory line. I think there's a pump that well that one will thread into. I went with drive by wire, but I also see that that pin is smaller than what the factory one is. So I gotta look up something for that. Um, or I may just change this style out and go with a different accessory bracket. Not too sure yet. It's gonna be lots to learn. So that's where I stand right now. I'm going to spend the rest of the day uh, researching to see what I need to do to make everything fit. Make a list and probably share that with you guys and see what I'm up to. And I may stop off at the junkyard tomorrow and uh, start having a look. Should have wore a hat because my hair is kind of a mess. But it's fucking... Wheels are turning now. There's lots I could be doing like... Cutting out the motor mount, dealing with that bullshit. But uh, for right now, just taking it easy. Just gonna bask in the glory that uh, I got this and now the real learning curve begins. Tomcats, what do you figure? You're just being all guttily tonight, aren't you? Your human's got his comfy pants on, we're just kicking back. Oh yeah. Look at that nice chin pets, eh? No, no, you don't try to bite your human. You know better than that. Yes, you do. You're still trying to be a wild giddy. Yes, you are. Wild giddy. All right, doing some research in the house. I printed off this. I got off of lt1swap.com for the 4L80 transmission to uh, make that work with the harness that I got. And uh, this is a book I picked up, got in the mail this past week, LS Swaps. Works out pretty good. It's got the um, wiring harness pin configuration matches the one that I printed out and tons of info in here to read. Uh, Lots of knowledge, figuring out what stuff is and what works and what doesn't work. And all right, so now I'm back, being an LS noob and trying to figure out how everything goes. So these lines right here, I was curious about. I guess those are steam lines, and it connects apparently to the throttle body. I just blew air through it, and air goes through here and comes out through that bottom one, so they're connected. And then this one here will connect to your coolant system. Uh, it's not plumbed into the water pump. So I probably could go to a heater hose or somewhere in the system. And then the throttle linkage, I thought the cable would connect to here, but apparently I got to use that. So I might head to the junkyard tomorrow, see if I can get a throttle cable for something. 
And then I need to know where these vacuum ports go. There's one there, one up there, one back there. And then this plug back here would be the plug I need for my brake booster. Tomcats. I know, cuddly kitty. Tom Cat loves to cuddle. Cause it's time to head her down to the wreckers, see what I can find. Gotta trace those vacuum lines and everything else. Good old pick and pull, let's see what kind of goodies we can find. Right. That's the math sensor that came with it. <clears throat> so I went to the junkyard, got a new one. Cause this one looks like it's brand new, really good condition. Not saying this one wouldn't work, but it's a little dirty. I took the air box as well. I don't know if I'm going to, uh, I don't know if it's too big or what incorporated into the Jeep maybe, because I don't want to run a cold air intake. That's for sure. Picked up this alternator. It is like brand new. Same plug configuration. Might have to Google the differences. PR44. It's a high powered alternator. Bearings sound a little dry though. I don't think I'll be needing something that's got that much power. Let's just get this alternator off this for now. This one here is probably 125, 150 amp. You can see the difference in size. Got a belt, this is almost brand new. Set of spark plug wires. Picked up some rubber hose. I had to trace these lines so I know where they went. So the steam vent, this little hose right here, goes to the throttle body. And then this long one I cut, I can run wherever. It goes from, actually, did I take it off? I cut both ends. Yeah, but it just go from the throttle body into your cooling system somewhere. This vacuum line right here, the intake up to there and the other one i was thinking about in the rear here goes fishes from the rear up into there might try to get the hard line off that one next time i'm at the wreckers got one off but then it snaps i'm gonna have to make another trip i did score throttle cable bracket That might come in handy. I really like in this power steering pump either with those cut lines when they get these engines to fix up. The wreckers, wherever they get them from, just cut all that stuff. So I believe there's only four bolts holding that together. Yes, sir. Ah, almost four o'clock, sun setting, but look at that Chinook arch. Ah, that's what I love about the winters. The Chinooks come in, keep things warm. Two more weeks, and then the longer days will start coming. Well, I wasn't gonna take this one back, but 
on Google, some say the DR44 is like around 150 up to 250. I don't fucking know. Probably just gonna keep this one here because this one here looks like it's brand new. Do the power steering next weekend. This fuel line should plug into my Jeep. I believe so. I might have to build something that'll work. Maybe disconnected from down below. I'm not too sure how that's going to play out yet. Because I will need to run a return to the tank. There's one more bracket I need to get for the wiring harness. And oh yeah, I need the bracket for that too. So be going back to the records next weekend. All that being said, I think it's motherfucking beer time. We got Mashton. This is uh, Parallel 49 coming in at 5.1%. All right, motherfucking beer time. And lots to learn this weekend. Oh, I don't mind this one. Lots to learn. Next, next few videos, we're just going to be going over things, trying to figure things out. Um, really can't do anything till I get the transmission. Hopefully that'll come in a couple weeks and I get order the motor mounts, uh, the transmission adapter, all that bullshit. And then we can start getting into it. We need to start getting the wiring from the Jeep. Start cutting off... Uh, the motor mount brackets, there's going to be lots to do. And then the fun will begin. Anyways, I'm going to get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I want to thank you guys for watching.